Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Ultra, and we are um, back on Granddan, Gra Granddad's farm. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> so, uh, so last time we were here, um, last episode, we had stopped cutting the grass and started and make wood chips. So I think we're going to probably start off uh, back with uh, uh, probably um, making some more wood chips and uh, kind of get that back up and running and going. Um, so we can um, kind of make a spot back there where we're working. Because uh, I have a silo that I want to put down um, that's going to help us with the grass. Um, it's it's a, basically a fermenter. It will uh, ferment the grass into silage, and uh, then we can transfer the silage, uh, you know, and that should give us a little bit more of a price margin. I'm hoping that's that'll work out. So that's the plan. So yeah, that is uh, what we got going on, uh, and hopefully we can uh, get something done to the farm too. Uh, we did get a, uh, we did uh, put down a house, so we had a uh, place to sleep. So it's one step forward. <laughs> it, it just takes time, it, which kind of sucks, but you know, like I always say. Um, it is what it is. So we're going to kind of get back down here and uh, cut a little bit. Um, I mean, I could make it, I could put that silo closer. Um, so we're going to have to go so far. Could be a plan. Um, I think I'm still going to cut trees because um, in the meantime, that will be. Uh, I don't know, let's see here. Um, we might be able to not have to do that that way. We could get it here a little closer because we do have plenty of space. So let's see what we have here. Um, if, I can, if it's under silos, I don't remember exactly. Um, I don't know if it's considered as a production. Um, it might be. I, I don't know where they slaughtered it at, you know. Ah, okay, here it is. So, it's, yeah, so you're going to be um, basically bringing grass. It's kind of like a BGA, uh, but it's, it's a, you know, it's kind of a production. Uh, so you just bring your grass over here and it will, we can ferment that into um, silage. Uh, well, it'll make the death state too, but. Alright, so let's. Now we spent some money. We'll have to uh, make an adjustment for that. Like I said, we still have some work to do to where we can make a little of that back. But I'm going to kind of just kind of doctor this up a little bit if I can. I just got to bear with me. I'm just trying to get my bearings how I want it to go and then I can fine tune that. I 
Come on. Work with me here. <laughs> yeah, talk to it. using grass I figured I would do something a little different oh well, something a little different okay that's good enough I'm not gonna be all I can always do that later so we're only going to continue cutting on the trees down here. But that should be close enough. I didn't want to make it like too far away. I guess when I was thinking about it, it, it seemed like it was closer than what I thought. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ain't that always the case? <laughs> Now we still have capacity that, that actually holds in the chipper itself, so just like last time. Which it's almost full. One more good treat should uh oop. There's still some stump left there. Take care of that. We'll get this tree here here on the outside. And it should give us yep, 100 percent Notice that we had this other stump here that we had left there from uh last episode, so I figured hey, let's get it right quick. Alright, we'll shut that off and uh Right, just right over here to the cell station and make a bit, bit of money. Do this for a little bit and uh, we'll get back to cutting some grass and um, start and get that going. 
Almost emptied out. There we go. Alright. Well, looks like I'm at about a hundred thousand. Something like that. It's not bad. Let's get another uh, couple more loads of that and then we'll uh, switch back over to the grass. Um, I'm thinking that uh, Because we're plowing, we're plowing the, the space where we cut the grass to make the fields. So probably wouldn't hurt to start putting some crop in the ground. Um, so we could do that as well. Oop! Got a little, uh, little bumpy there with it. So now we're holding in the chipper. So probably this tree and one more. And that should do that. I believe. I could be wrong about that. But. Okay, so, you know, I was wrong about that. So, it gives us a chance to get this lonely tree. It's kind of sitting out here by itself. You can't have that. Alright, so, I'm not going to try another tree because if I do that, um, it should be good. That says what 97% in the wood chipper. Tell so where everybody's enjoying the series. Like I said, we're in episode three, so uh, trying to uh, be recording um, episode four here shortly. Got to kind of keep it rolling because uh, we have a lot of work to do. We got to our pretty much end goal is to get the farm built um, and. I knew that this was going to be a challenge to get to that point, so um, if that's the kind of thing you like and you like watching, um, I do appreciate that, and uh, if you don't mind, if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel, please uh, give it a thought and uh, subscribe, like, hit the, you know, hit all the buttons, slap them around a few times, <laughs> so to speak. Alright, so let's get another load. Turn that on, get that down, and turn it on. So 
we're going to get another load and then uh, we're going to transfer over to the grass um, we're going to see about um, getting up probably like a cedar why well, you're not cutting um, and probably plant uh, what fields that we have right now which is uh, not many um, so well it'll be two once I get the other one uh, finished you know ready to be plowed for now and then we uh, will uh, ride back to the farm area and we'll get to work on that and uh, get that other field plowed up um, we'll lay some seed seed down uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in there you know corn wheat uh, barley and so on I'm not really sure yet I'll have to uh, maybe do something that uh, don't normally do that might be might be interesting of course I have to be careful what crop I pick because I don't have um, I don't want to pick a crop that I don't have equipment for so back up here to the, to the farm and uh, see what uh, get back into the grass I think I have to finish one row in that one field um, get the grass picked up and then we uh, well, start plowing it and then we'll see about getting a planter or a cedar um, all depends on what kind of crop that we want to lay down there as like I said, if I like something, if I if I see those fields with something like uh, uh, sugar cane or cotton, I don't have the machinery for that. So I have to be kind of kind of choosy what I want to uh, put in there. Because right now I'm just trying to get to a point where. We can work everything with the equipment that we do have um, um, and start advancing. So I guess the first two episodes has mainly been uh, just trying to get started and everything. It, which it, That's kind of the hard part sometimes. trailer technically I don't really have to unhook from that chipper but um, I'm gonna do it anyway I think all right and we will continue on with the wind rowing get this done and then we'll get a plowed and then we'll like I said we'll start laying some seed in the ground
messed that up a little bit, didn't I? I can make this turn. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, I probably can't. If I can get this turned the way I want, it's just I keep turning the wrong damn way. Huh. Ain't nobody's fault but my own. I think whatever piece of grass, you know, that I miss or something like that, I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. I should be able to get that taken care of. So I hope y'all are enjoying the music because uh, music is done by Nacho Cast Presents. Uh, there will be a link down in the description so you can check his channel out if you'd like. So I seen where they were talking about um, one of the new crops is going to be I think peas and then the other one that, that caught my eye was uh, green beans so that ought to be interesting um, so I'm kind of excited really excited for uh, 
FS25 to come out. So if you all would love to let me know what you uh, think of the upcoming FS25, please let me know down in comments. And that would be amazing. I'd like to hear from what you all think. Sometimes I hit that outside line when I'm trying to turn. <laughs> Not mean to. I'm getting a little better with turning that. Well, at least it, that one looked pretty decent. <laughs> can't get out I'm painting myself in the corner huh. yeah no you don't hear people talk like that anymore you ever noticed you know just how some people used to talk like you know back in the day you just don't hear it no more um, kind of like phrases like um, Oh shoot, what am I thinking? Um, I'm trying to think of one now. <laughs> like Like uh, when somebody says, um, none of your beeswax. You, I mean, you get stuff like that, you, just, you don't hear that no more. I think that's interesting though. I guess when people were, you know, said stuff like that, it's just an easier time, maybe. Always fascinates me, you know, to think about stuff like that.
All right, so I'm gonna get the forge wagon and uh. No, I didn't want to do that, damn it. And pick this stuff up. I'd think for a minute. Where to put it at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was losing my my implements, my equipment. said everything all the grass that we cut now it's going to go into that uh, fermenting silo that uh, we laid down uh, just a little bit ago so I'm going to try doing that I'm going to go out here and get this outside and we got that grass over there I forgot about that it needs to be uh, dealt with also so we still got a little some work work to get done it's all good in the wood as they say well, as I say <laughs> I don't ever hear anybody say that I, I that's my thing I think <laughs> Kind of a weird song, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's cool, actually. be veering off that line all the way around now <laughs> when I get to that point again <laughs> that's funny how stuff like that works out crazy almost 80% in the tent and the trailer right there 80 percent should be, be getting full here pretty soon <clears throat> i don't know if i have and you know because that was in that was under production so i don't know if i need to buy it like a like you do with a production i'm not really sure about that It's funny that I use that mod now because I haven't used it. It's going to be the first time actually using it. Alright. Let's ride right 
right over there right quick. I guess we're about to find out right now, ain't we? <laughs> ain't that how that goes? <laughs> so I had an idea for the farm. Uh, well, the, the yard, the farmyard. Uh, right in the center is like uh, those trees. You know, kind of like a, they kind of planted in like an island, in like a grassy island. Um, I want to take all those trees out and put them pond in the center I think it would be uh, pretty nice to do that I think if I do it right it'll, it'll look pretty good all right so we do have a production trigger let me, uh, click on that and see what we got going on all right so bringing grass in so it's gonna be grass silage it's not really hay um, so 100 liters of grass in 95 of that will be silage and then plus 30 is going to be the um, digestate but I'm more interested in silage so We'll see how that goes. So let's activate that. So I didn't have to buy it, so that's a good thing. Now, I know you see like the black, I call, I call them the cauldrons, <laughs> the black, you know, pails or whatever. Um, it's actually green, but it looks black from a distance. Um, <clears throat> normally, that's, you would bring like, you can bring like a, a grass bale or something like that and dump it in there. That's really the, I think the only purpose for it. I mean, you got loose grass, as you can see, that's just, you know, where you dump it like normal so I'm going to get over here and we're going to get this loaded up again but before I start doing that um, I kind of want to look at um, what options we have for like anything in here that can be used right now nothing for what we want to do um, so we want to ooh, I went too far um, here's the cedar and then here's the planters so we're gonna look at the cedars which gonna be your grains you know like that grass um, So let's look at planters. Um, so you're gonna have sunflower corns and corn and all that. Um, using a planter, um, which is not a bad idea to do corn actually. Um, so Ow. this takes seeds, but not fertilizer. And this here will take seeds and fertilizer. So, let's see how, what is the working width on that? That is, well, you need 350 horsepower for it. 18.2 um, meters. And then this one down here is only 12 meters. Okay, so 249. Jeez, man. We just keep spending money and not making, um, enough to um, put back into the farm but kind of really don't have a choice in the matter to be honest so 
Let's, uh, let's see. Do I have another? No, I don't. Unhook from that for right now. And we're going to get this plow moved out of the way. Uh, we'll go up there and get that planter. Um, we'll get fertilizer and seed into it. And, uh, we'll see about getting this field, uh, planted. Um, so we're going to plant, probably plant corn and, um, we'll have it fertilized at the same time so our second fertilization should give us will give us like 100 percent on that part of it what am i doing such a goofball i'm the only tractor i have right this moment so <laughs> But I'm, I think making that silage is going to put us over the top on um, as far as making money. I'm hoping that it will. Um. Looks like uh, Mr. Ed there, he's uh, taking another break, looks like. He's got an easy job and he works for the county. I mean, shit. Huh. They don't got to do anything, really. seed silo down so we can um, get the implement filled up um, we're gonna was gonna need to do that anyway so um, and I don't know if I did that already or not I don't think I did no no I didn't do that Did not. Alright, so we're gonna find that. Um, should be under containers if we even have that, which we do. Cool, cool, cool. Excellent one day. So we're just gonna slap this right here for right now. It can be moved at a later date. Open the covers. It should be your seed, and then that fertilizer tank is the one on the front. I don't know what I do, get too close. It is a possibility. Yeah, I'm getting way too close. Alright, so that got me the fertilizer. <laughs> I'm really stuck on that damn freaking damn thing now. It's kind of sitting at an angle, so I need to remember that for next time. Oh well, too far. <laughs> Still too far. What the hell? There it is. I thought. Well, it's being particular. There's 
need to build a tool. And that's what I'm trying to do. But it's not feeling it. I'd like to know why. Well, this is complexing. It's trying to drop it. I see it drop a little bit. And I don't really understand that. Hmm. This is weird. Oh, I know it's got, I know it's got, you know, it's got the seed option in it. I know it does. I just don't really quite understand why it's not filling. It is just not doing it. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out something here. Guess I'm going to have to buy some freaking seed. We got a big bag. I mean, I guess we could do that. I always go to the pellets, though. It's a hundred dollars more. Um, damn, it's nine hundred. Is there a ch cheaper way of doing that? Oh, this is not gonna have. Is it? Yeah, it does it. Oh, it's even more. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I guess uh, we're going to the big bags then. Uh, they're 800. We'll just have to see if we can make that work. Damn, man. Two is just, I want to see, it's 100,000. Or no, that, yeah, it's 1,000. Oh, one, one, six. And how many liters is in that? 2,000 liters in each one. All right, we're just going to get two. I guess we're going to race back up there and uh, get this filled up. I mean, I don't understand why that didn't work. It's kind of complexing there. Whoa, whoa, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> Head on cruise control. I was going nuts. Just because when we have a difficult situation we will always figure a way to get it done I guess this is part of the challenge of it right <laughs> So now, if I can't load these big bags into here, um, I'm going to be highly upset. <laughs> Just saying. Something tells me I'm going to have to pick them up to do it. Um, so I'm not sure if you can do it straight from the ground like that with the bags. I don't know. Well, that automatically opened. Alright, so you can do it from the ground. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I have to buy me another bag. At least one.
There's a small field though, so that should be plenty. I am not going to uh, argue too much with that. That was kind of my feeling behind making smaller fields, um, which I don't normally do when I, you know, play on a map like this. So, I wanted to do something different anyway. I was wondering if you was ever going to unfold or are you going to wait till next Christmas? I mean, dear Lord. <laughs> I pushed the button like way back there. So, I'm going to hire a helper and we're going to watch and see what he does. Make sure everything's going to be good with him. And then we'll get back over there on the grass while he's doing this. should run a head one all the way around it and then I know I wouldn't have an issue with them but this corner is uh, rounded off so I figured it was probably going to throw them off but I could be wrong yeah not bad I could have done nothing like a strip down at this end would have been fine then Dude, you're straight. You can back up now. You don't gotta go a thousand freaking meters. I mean, feet or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, I should have done a bottom strip. We'll take care of it eventually here. But uh, damn, I need another tractor. Oh dear lord, that I didn't even think about that. Oops. I don't. Only any other thing I have is the mower, and the mower doesn't have a hitch on it, and I don't think I can do that, but I can try, but I doubt it. Oop, got too close to it. No, it doesn't have a hitch on it. Nope. All right. So I guess um, so I guess the multiplayer or the multiplayer, the multitasking um, situation is out of the realm of possibility right now. Because uh, we don't want to spend any more money if I can help it. <clears throat> at least we're putting seed in the ground that's actually awesome I'm happy for that I thought I was going to run into that fence, actually. I'm sitting there waiting on it. <laughs> go, come, 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 come. Taking that grass out on, on the end of the field. It's all right, though. So I learned something new. You can take a planter and just drop it and not turn it on and delete the grass if you want to, I guess. <laughs> Damn it. 
I hate when that happens. Damn phone. Normally I just turn that thing off, but for some reason I did not do that today. Like I said, it's a small field, so I mean, you know, it wouldn't take too long to do it. Now, properly to do the, the field prep, I mean, I would normally roll it. But, uh, like I said, kind of tight on the fun, so we're not going to do that. I mean, we will uh, fertilize it again, so... least that because <laughs> I guarantee you right now okay we're done with that so but I guarantee you right now if I jump out and I look at the field information we're only 50% and of course it wants to be rolled but we don't have a roller So we will make do or what we can can do. <laughs> Unless one comes on sale. Um, you know, that's not like overwhelming. So with that being said, let's look at that. Nope. We do have another tractor though. They want 129,000 for it though. JVC 8330. So let's get another load of grass and take it over to the fermenter and kind of go from there. I mean, if I buy um, a separate machine to do the fertilizer, next fertilizer state, um, I'm thinking that I probably should buy one that'll take fertilizer and lime because um, the uh, probably need to lime that before I fertilize it again. What am I doing? I'm sitting here just going, I ain't got a damn thing turned on. Huh. That's stupid. Dear Lord, why didn't you turn that on? What is wrong with you? Are you mental? Could be. It's possible. was pretty good. I don't think I missed a beat on that turn.
wage payment came out for that. It's kind of slow, actually. For when I had to help her going. Almost got a load here of uh, grass, so we're going to take this down and uh, get rid of this. And we'll come back and get some more grass. Kind of back and forth type situation that's going on right now, but uh, like I always say, it is what it is, and it's kind of kind of part of the grind. Um, But uh, I wanted to talk about um, the different things that you can do in farm sim as far as like course play and um, um, you know different mods like that. Um, yes, I do use course play. Um, not a lot. Um, it just all depends on what the situation is. Like if I have a really big giant field, um, I will use you know like course play for that um, which to me that's understandable um, now the other mods where um, you can record a uh, I forget what it's called right off hand but or you can basically record a um, a trip or where you're you know where you want your tractors to go and this and that type thing um, those mods like that, I okay, don't take it the wrong way, but I feel that it actually takes away from what the game actually was built on, and the game was always built on the fact that, um, that you know, it's, it's a simulation. It's t supposed to simulate um, farming. Um, now... Well, that being said, my idea is that if you are working on a map that's, I mean, you're playing on a map that, you know, it's got some smaller fields or this or that, um, you doing the work um, is part of the simulation. Now, if you have something that doesn't, that does the work for you, um, which the helper system I mean I get that that point I mean everybody uses that I, I mean and there's nothing wrong with that I just feel it I feel that some of those other mods kind of take away from um, what the core design and idea behind the game was um, now granted in real life there there is some systems that uh, that will uh, help the farmer um, you know to keep a straight line or this and that um, uh, gives them information on um, you know the dampness of the of of the ground uh, the dampness of the of the crop that he's uh, harvesting at the time or dealing with at the time um, granted that's great um, and but at the end of the day it is a game 
at the end of the day it is a simulation so why not simulate that why cheat yourself into using a mod that does it for you okay now in the beginning of this conversation I did say I use course play but I only use course play if if I'm on like a big giant field that I know that's going to take me like hours to deal with <clears throat> so with that being said I do understand the point behind them I just personally for myself I feel that a lot of those other ones like that uh, like guidance steering um, and so on are taking away from what the game is meant to be um, so I don't know what y'all think um, about that uh, that's like I said purely just my opinion um, but that doesn't you know that it doesn't uh, doesn't mean that I'm you know trying to say you know, go right out there and not use it you know purely you can use it you know all you want I'm not saying not to I'm just saying personally for myself um, I'm a high believer in it's a simulation it was meant to be a simulation so simulate it as you would be in in the tractor for real in real life and doing the work that farmers do um, but like I said purely just my opinion um, and that's all it, it kind of is um, I just thought it was um, I guess the reason why I wanted to talk about it was the fact that I I just feel really strongly that I think that um, for me it's they're not good systems to use because I do want to play the game I do love this game by I mean, literally, I mean, I love it. I mean, it's uh, so my channel is built off from, um, and I've been playing Farm Sim since probably 2013. Um, I know um, a little bit about it, a little bit. I'm not going to say that I'm perfect in any kind of way because I'm not. But uh, like I said, just purely uh, my opinion um, on, on the subject. So... I hope that uh, y'all uh, love the game as much as I do, enjoy the game as much as I do, and uh, all that. So, enough of my, uh, enough of my, I guess, a rant or whatever you want to call it. Um, but like I said, just purely my opinion, and um, I do, um, I do respect. Um, people's other uh, views on the same subject and do understand but like I said at the end of the day it, it's supposed to simulate farming um, and like I said before in in my eyes if you're gonna simulate farming do the work you know do it yourself um, yes I know that we there is a built-in helper system and a lot of people will utilize that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it, you know, that it's kind of part of the game. It come with the game. It wasn't something that was uh, made as a mod, as third party, or anything. It's just part of the core game. Um, which there's nothing wrong with that, and I think that's fine um, to use the helper. Um, but when you go and use a system that literally does everything for you down to a certain um, point um, I believe that's for me is not and like I keep saying I mean it's purely my opinion on it um, for me as a player I, I don't want to use them because I think it really kind of just takes away from um the whole point of what the game is <clears throat> and 
I mean, I, I might be, you know, I, I could be completely wrong, but it is, like I said, it just comes down to um, how I feel about that. So, we got that grass done. I'm going to go down here and get rid of this, and uh, we should... guess our next step would be matter of fact let's do this instead of selling it um, matter of fact I'm gonna try to pick up this grass as well um, and then we'll just take it over to the fermenter silo and we'll dump it in there I think that would probably be better um, I know we're trying to uh, make the money up so we can uh, start uh, building on the uh, the farm <clears throat> but like any other process it, it does take time it does take time now I know I didn't win row this which I probably should because um, it makes it easier to pick the grass up but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this trailer full. That way we can uh, get it all over there. And I hope you all are enjoying this, season, this series. Um, I'm trying to bring you uh, some good quality content and hope that you're enjoying it. And you can always, like I say, you can leave uh, leave a comment if you would like. That's purely up to you. And I, I do appreciate and read all the comments that I get. Because I feel that it's important. I feel that uh, everybody has a voice. Um, and uh, you have a right to be heard. And I think I, I mean, I, and it's not a thank. It's more, I, I mean, I, I actually... Uh, respect that and appreciate it. I guess picking up the grass this way is more, um, uh, what's the word I want to say, labor intensive? Because uh, when you one row it, you're just you're picking up the grass down one row. Um, this here is just a little more um, meticulous, I guess is maybe the right term. As soon as we get this trailer full, like I said, we'll take it over there and then uh, I will uh, get the plow and uh, we'll get that newly cut grass field that we had just done. Get that plowed up into a field. Um, and then I believe our next episode is going to be about um, getting um, stuff planted in these fields. I believe that's what uh, our next stage of development is going to be. Um, and then, of course, as we go along, we're going to be um, adding to the farm. Um, try to get rid of uh, all the old stuff on the farm and uh, start putting some new stuff down, make it look nice. I guess when it comes down to it, that's pretty much our, our end goal for this series. <clears throat> but it 
it takes a little bit of work to get to that point um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a grind so I guess you can say the grind is real <laughs> news at 11 It's going around and around and around and around until we can get all the grass picked up. <laughs> At least get the trailer filled. Um, and then, like I said, I'll take it over there and start getting it fermented in the silo. Um, in the silage, I meant to say. And uh, then we can process that silage and sell it. Um, should bring in some, uh, some good money. That way we can continue on with our goal of getting the farm put back together get it up and running eventually uh, be having animals and all the whole nine yards as I say it's funny you know you really stop and think about it At this day and age a lot of people just don't talk like that no more um, you know they don't you know it's certain things that uh, just you know certain phrases that people don't say anymore um, of course back in the day when stuff like that was said it was more um, I guess it was an, an easier time I think it's I think it's a it's a big loss that we um, don't see things um, that way Yeah, I remember when uh, I was younger, um, when I would ask a question, you know, uh, to somebody, you know, that wasn't really kind of any of my business to even ask a, co a question, you know, because I was younger. I mean, I was just a kid. I didn't know any better. And uh, the response I would get would be, it's none of your beeswax. Okay, no one to this day and age he uses that term anymore and I think that's a big loss I really think that uh, you know of course I'm older now and I think that situation now that the more I think about it is very reasonable I mean I can't be mad over that um, I think it was a, a polite way for um, them to tell me, okay, well, it's none of your business. Instead of saying none of your business, you're saying well, it's none of your beeswax. <laughs> you know, and, I mean, it's a little comical, I mean, to hear it, but I think that uh, it's a lot more respectful to say something like that than it is to um, say it a different way. And why am I not getting a spot here? I'm trying. Nope, there it is. All right. So we got grass. Gr gas. Got gas. What the hell? I can't even talk. Got grass going in, so that's good. And while the grass is going in, we will get a game save like normal. And... Let's look at, oh, I was in the right section. We're going to look at our productions, and this is the only production that we have at this point. So we want to make grass silage. So we have 100 grass in, 95 silage out, and you have 30 digestate uh, coming out as well. Um, so now the silage is being stored. So I'm wondering, can we change that? To where it's selling um, and we'll see how that goes um, so whatever grass we bring over here um, it's going to cure into silage and then silage I have like a like you just seen I have it set to selling so it should sell automatically we shouldn't have to transport it to a sell point of any of 
any of that nature. All right, so we're going to get the trailer back over here, and then I will uh, hook up to the plow, and we will get this other small field that we cut out um, plowed up. Get ready for um, seeding and all that nice good stuff. All right, so we'll drop that right there, which is fine. Looks like we're getting tools kind of littered here. Um, now, we did seed this this first field here. Um, it has been seeded. Um, so we did do that. Because um, I know I said that I was you know, going to start doing that next episode. But we have uh, done a little of that. Um, so we will continue doing that. You know, trying to get some uh, crop in the ground. Get stuff going. And I will try to line this up the best I can without being rested on this freaking amp. Oh, I just messed up. See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, so did I just unhook that? I did unhook it. Well, I can't. <clears throat> okay. Unfold that. All right. So we need to select um, allow credit field. Let's get actually in the field before I lay that down. <laughs> that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? All right. <clears throat> And off we go. Hell yeah. Try to move that camera back a little bit so we can see what we're doing. But I do want to take the time to uh, thank everybody that has... Uh, been uh, watching the series and uh, I do appreciate uh, everybody's support very much so uh, it means a lot and helps the channel out and I appreciate it See we can make this well it's not you know when I'm making the field like this I mean I know it's not going to be perfect and um, that's fine because I think sometimes when it's not perfect it's more natural um, especially like if you're using the paint tool to paint and this and that you know um, in the game <clears throat> I feel you know it doesn't have to be perfect to look good I think it kind of gives it a natural uh, look to what you're doing. So I'm kind of going around uh, this equipment here, which I think will be fine. Another small field. We will uh, set some cruise control and get this. Uh, start doing our up and up and downs.
So I'm not really sure how many episodes this is um, going to take, but uh, we're going to keep uh, keep trucking along on it, so to speak, or I should say, tractor alonging on it, and uh, until we get to where we need to be. Play a little bit of music while we're uh, while I'm doing this, and so I hope you enjoy the music. All music is done by Nacho Cast Presents. Um, will be a link um, down below uh, for his channel. So uh, so you can shoot over there and um, check him out. Give him some support. Give him some love. He is an amazing content creator. And uh, hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Alrighty, so we got that, got that done. Um, so I think we're gonna move on to um, I'll probably uh, go make some more wood chips. I think that was uh, we can do that.
Matter of fact, actually, let's go pick up the rest of this grass that's over here. Um, so we can get that done. If we can get that done, then we can move on to uh, not doing the other. Uh, we can plow this little bit up too. And this will be another small field for us. Or we can just blend this together into that field. Uh, be one, uh, not, I wouldn't say bigger field, but bigger than more than what it is. <laughs> so, uh, while I'm doing this, we'll listen to the radio again.
All right, so I decided I was going to go ahead and wind row that. Um, so to make it a little bit easier, so we'll kind of park him right over here. Of course, we got one tractor that we're working with right now, um, kind of low key. Um, so, and like I say, it is what it is. I don't know who ever started that phrase. Um, I know um, when I lived up north, um, I, I do remember um, people uh, saying that. And uh, before I went uh, and lived up north, um, it wasn't really, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't a term um, that I remember. Um, so pretty much everybody has you know gone to that and it, it kind of sums up you know um what it is it is what it is type thing so it does work um which i think is interesting how uh how trends and different things get made um i'm pretty sure it was probably one person that came out with it and next thing you know the whole freaking damn country saying it <laughs> which I think is kind of neat and comical at the same time all right so while I'm doing this I will go ahead and turn it back on
All right, so we got all that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over there to our fermenting silo and um, get it dumped in. And then we'll come back over here and we'll get this plowed up. Um, I'll probably make it just a separate field. I'm not gonna put it together because that field there's already got um, seed going in it. Oh, it's not running into the plow. That would kind of suck. just wrap around the, <clears throat> the building here on the back side and, uh, lined up on that silage bucket is what I'm calling it I guess I don't know what a really proper name for it is but it's what I'm calling it and it's kind of going with it all right here's our trigger let's look at our mod here We've got grass going in that silage that's being sold. All right, we're doing good. Of course, I don't think, um, you know, I think it periodically, I mean, after after uh, a period of time, um, it, it's, it sells it, I believe. I think that's how that's supposed to work. Right now, we're $232,644 in the bank. Um, in our pocket for right now so I'm gonna get over here like I said I'm gonna grab the plow I'm gonna get that plowed up get it ready for seating so that turn there didn't really uh, pan out well now did it no, it did not. All right, so we'll drop you right there. We'll go get this plow, and uh, we'll get that other field um, plowed up. I mean, I think um, for the most part, I mean, I think we'll come along. I think we're doing good. So I think I want a, lot, a little gap, you know, as far as um, ground goes um, between the fields here. Kind of back up and get lined up. And drop that right there. Oh, not a lot of crate the field. Here we go. So yeah, I kind of want to leave a little grass divider, I guess you would call it, on this field. Kind of separate it from the other field. <clears throat> so, uh, I'll turn the music back on while I get this going, and uh, I will see you when I get done.
So I guess I missed this one little spot here. So let's get that, and then uh, we will uh, see what we can move on to from here. All right, y'all, I think this is where we're going to end uh, today's episode. Uh, I appreciate for everybody coming by and uh, uh, watching, and I want to thank you for watching, like I say, and uh, please, if you don't mind, hit that sub um, and uh, hit that bell icon so you know when I go post a video and all hour I go live, and I do appreciate it very much. Y'all have a great day. This is Ultra. I'm out.